Good afternoon and welcome to Abigail Adams Institute and our conversations with affiliates. It is my pleasure to welcome Mr. Pavel Rybaki today. Pavel is a senior uh, here at Harvard, uh, right across the street from us in the Leverett House, and a concentrator in economics? Exactly. In economics. Okay, great. Well, Pavel, tell us a little bit about yourself, uh, where you're from, how you came to Harvard, first of all. It is my pleasure to be here, actually, because this is an incredible op uh, opportunity. This is a great community of scholars and people looking for something more than just studying, memorizing, but actually for pursuing knowledge. And um, I think that's how I find myself here. Coming from Poland, from um, a Catholic high school in Bydgoszcz, I was uh, looking for something more just uh, taking courses, but actually uh, engaging with people and uh, taking part in, uh, in various intellectual activities. So um, that's, uh, okay. yes. <laughs> and Pablo, when you came, how did you decide? So how does a man from uh, the middle of Poland, Western Poland, decide to apply and attend Harvard University? So I would call this the divine providence because um, I just I was just uh, studying um, on a biology chemistry track in back in high school, um, but then um, I went for a language course in Vienna and Austria, um, and there I met a Dominican brother from Providence. Um, he's currently in Providence. He was from New York actually, um, and I just asked him if it was possible for people like me, just uh, students from. Uh, Poland to, to apply to American uh, institutions of higher learning. Is there any opportunities for, for any scholarships? Because we knew that for many uh, Europeans and uh, another uh, in other places of the world. Um, and he told me about the financial aid opportunities at Harvard and other Ivy League schools. And this really encouraged me to dig deeper into uh, like what the American colleges are about. And I was just fascinated with the um, not only the intellectual rigor and um, academic excellence of these institutions, but also uh, I was just fascinated with how rich the life of students is. Yes. So, Pavel, in Poland uh, and, and on much of the continent, there's really no such thing as liberal arts education. People tend to specialize immediately in, in, and choose a career path at, at 18. And here, um, you don't necessarily have to do this. Was this a bit of a surprise or... Uh, how, what did you think of this experience? You you came in, I assume, with with uh, a clear, or maybe I shouldn't assume, with a clear uh, path about what you wanted to study. With the, uh, did, did you have a clear path of the clear sort? Of, were you did, did you know what you wanted to do uh, academically and career wise? I had an idea. Uh, it was an opportunity uh, for a change yeah. because, as I mentioned, I, I was uh, and my background is in uh, natural science and uh, preparing for. Uh, a degree in medicine but then um, coming to America um, where the educational system is much different and no longer it no longer made a lot of sense to um, pursue like five years of college plus five years of medical studies so I decided to look for something that would be both very applicable in the modern world and uh, at the same time that would um, give me an opportunity for intellectual growth I found that economics is uh, this kind of field okay Great. So you concentrated in economics at Harvard, and would you uh, mind telling us what were some of the highlights or the best courses or most memorable professors? Uh, uh, there are many of them. I think the most memorable experience for me was writing my senior thesis, uh, and uh, my senior thesis is in uh, cultural economics, which I believe is a fascinating and growing field. Uh, my thesis is about the um, economically significant cultural consequences of the partitions of Poland. Um, so applying econometric tools to study a historical phenomenon that uh, has changed um, a lot in the Polish uh, culture and economics. Great. And who was your senior uh, thesis advisor? Professor David Yang. Professor David Yang. You worked closely with him. Wonderful. And um, so, Pavel, you also, at, at Harvard, while we don't have a core anymore, the courses you require, I think we have something like um, suggested, uh, re re not really requirements, but suggested areas of study. How about some courses or professors not in economics that left a big impression or you know, changed how you think about a field or a problem? One of them was definitely James Hankins mm -hmm. and his course on the uh, history of uh, Western uh, intellectual thought. Um, this course 
was absolutely fascinating for me. Um, and Professor Hankins gave a very interesting interpretation uh, and the way he connected the ideas in the course made it uh, very good. Uh, both, both, I would say something that gives satisfaction for both those who are looking for more, but also uh, not a hard course to take for those from other fields. Mm -hmm. Yes, um, Professor Hankins, that comes highly recommended uh, in the Abigail Adams Institute. So Pavel, my understanding is you're staying in the United States for at least another year. If not more, you're pursuing um, uh, further studies in economics, is that right? Uh, close. Uh, further studies in the social sciences. Um, I'm accepted to the uh, UChicago's Master of Arts program in the social sciences, mm -hmm. which uh, is an interdisciplinary program, which gives uh, you an opportunity to explore different courses from various fields and uh, choose any concentration you would like. And uh, I'm mostly thinking about sociology or political science. But definitely, I'm looking forward to this interdisciplinary experience within the social sciences. Yes, and this is, of course, the very uh, highly regarded MAPS program at Chicago. So, Pavel, uh, tell us maybe uh, a little bit more about your involvement with the Abigail Adams Institute. We met maybe three years ago. Uh, what are some of the events uh, that, that you've uh, attended that you remember or that left, uh, again, uh, an impression? Uh, I think the, the most important event I attended was the first one, which was the, the colloquium on uh, Alexis de Tocqueville and uh, his uh, democracy in America, uh, because it was there that I realized what, what the Abigail Adams Institute is about. It's about um, people interested, uh, intellectually curious, and interested in uh, big questions um, for our societies, for our civilization, who want to put in like, a broad historical perspective, but also want to uh, discuss them in, in the context of contemporary events with lots of fascinating insights and uh, most importantly, I think, independent thinkers, which is uh, a very unique uh, trait to have in, in these days. Well, I don't think I could have put that any better uh, than, than Pavel just did uh, right now. So Pavel, thank you very much. It's a pleasure to have you as an Abigail Adams undergraduate fellow, and I certainly hope you will stay on as a graduate professional fellow even after you move to Chicago. Thank you very much. Thank you.